This is the top of the mountain. With no regionals and no states, this is the apex of high school lacrosse in New York State. Hi everybody, Sam Gelfand here. So excited to be bringing you this Class C sectional championship between the James Little Whit Red Rams and the Christian Brothers Academy Brothers. This should be a fantastic game. Both of these teams are fielding an All-American. A 2021 All-American, no less. If you had other years, well, there's another one for JD and a couple within the coaching staff of both of these teams. So really competition does not get better than this. Certainly a rivalry between these two teams. You can literally walk between these two schools. And Johnny Kime draws first blood. And who more appropriate to score the first goal of the game than the new All-American. Johnny Kibe heading to Yale in the fall. The number 52 recruit in the entire United States. The All-American nomination process actually has to begin before the season. And then it's a matter of seeing if they live up to the hype. As Johnny Kibe certainly has. And Johnny Kibe makes this a 2-0 ball game. Now CBA is going to slow down and recombobulate for just a moment. They had to do so earlier in the season as their head coach Rick Beardsley actually resigned on May 12th. They've been playing for the past month without a head coach. And really it's amazing just how successful they have been in doing so without the four-time All-American from Syracuse University at the helm. Chris Adornado tries to take it, and J.M.O. McLaughlin is impenetrable. Lucas Bort over to Thomas Sabatino, so the Red Rams' second line is currently on the field. Now Kybe, always first in class. A hat trick only halfway through the first quarter. There are few better. Johnny Kybe is on fire! As good as the Red Rams' offense has been this season, their defense has been just as phenomenal. On the run attempted, and what a save by J.M.O. McLaughlin. Dan Ludington did his best, but it was not good enough. Dan Ludington takes a long shot and scores. Ludington with his 26th of the season makes it 3-1. Now we see the Red Rams doing this a lot. They'll slow it down, see if they can find a hole in the opposition defense, and then immediately go breakneck speed on the attack. And the slow roller from Ethan Kesselring puts another on the board for the Red Rams. Ethan Kesselring with a little bit of trickery. His first of the day, his 60th of the season. If I had to make a prediction, I would guess that this game will get more physical as it goes on. And you know what else you'll see? You will see Ethan Kesselring scoring again, and again, and again. Red Rams starting off slowly. Because you know it's going to pick up. Ethan Kesselring gesturing, opening up the shirt, revealing the Superman S. The Red Rams have now scored six goals off of two hat tricks. And Kai makes it another. He can do this all day long. Four goals for Johnny Kybe. At this point, it's just a competition between Kybe and Kesselring. Who can score more? And frankly, who's going to earn the nickname Special K by the end of this? Papa cannot beat his man. Attempts to swim. Find some breathing room. Saved by McLaughlin! He was knocked down and out of the goal. Almost a scary moment, but the Red Rams will regain possession, or will they? A wild swing and a miss from Thomas Sabatino. Dan Anderson, with his first of the day, makes it 7-2. And the question becomes, will the CBA brothers put something together here? Yes, they will. John Greenwood this time. 9-1, the Red Rams have taken these faceoffs. It's Jamal McLaughlin who loses it for a moment. Empty net. And what a save! Just incredible! The Red Ram defense, even with an empty net, simply does not allow scoring. They do not tolerate that sort of behavior, not in this household. Anderson breaks a stick. Matt Keeler now stickless. And if CBA keeps up this offensive onslaught, the Red Rams might be scared stickless. And what a stop by Matt Kraybaugh. It's a goalie duel here in DeWitt. Been kept pretty silent so far. And McLaughlin with that lightning quick reaction time. 
McLaughlin, once again, two-time Under Armour All-American, but even he's going to let some go. Sean Greenwood has his second of the day, and now it's 7-4. to four. Tanner Burns can score like no one's business, but he enjoys setting people up for goals like that. Sam Brazell, the freshman. For the Red Rams, one for two in sectionals today. But Craybaugh has not been making it easy for him. Despite all his rage, he is still just a rock in the cage. You know, there's nothing veterans can do better than dictate pace and know when to slow down, when to speed up, as Johnny Kybe is battling back. He can do it all himself, but he is double teamed. Ball is loose. Kybe gets it back. Shoot and scores! Kybe says, how about a hitcher with a little bum shakalaka? Charging in is Cole Brenner with the pass. And John Greenwood with the hat trick. The score is 9-5, to five, and these two teams could do this all day long. Kybe's shot was off the mark. Now Kesselring, who's just as proficient of a scorer, swims round, knocked down to the ground, shoots it from the knees! Oh my! Ethan Kesselring is not human! Papa comes round, scores! Joe Papa unleashes an arrow with his 34th of the season. Ardenato does it himself! Ardenato, a one-man effort, whips around and lets it loose. Reeves with yet another on the fast break. They're trying to get this one quick and a save by Kraybaugh! Meaning that Mike Holdridge, Sean Kazmer, and Ryan DeMorris have been in charge of the program and McLaughlin is in charge of everybody. Taking control and asserting his dominance. The crowd, you can feel it in the air. They are ready to see someone score. The tension is building and it's ready to burst. The CBA defense has coagulated in the second half. But the Red Rams figure out how to break the ice. Tanner Burns with his first goal of the day, his 44th of the season, puts one up in championship competition before heading off to Brown University in the fall. They tried the behind the back, and they get it on the rebound. Johnny Kai with number six. The Red Rams could certainly use a little more cushion. There's no such thing as too much in a championship matchup. Snagged out of the air. What a slick goal for Johnny Kai, number seven. Let the big dog feast. He's just enjoying himself out there. Dan Anderson now. Beats his man. Can he beat the second? Can he beat the goalie? Right point blank? No! No powder in the cartridge. It is not like one of these teams is good and one of these teams is bad. Both are stellar. But McLaughlin and the extra assist from Noah Marino. The JD defense is most stellar of them all. Back on the attack. Their favorite place to be. Save by Kraybaugh. But he can't save that. Ethan Kesselring with goal number five. He can just about do it all. He even has one save on the season. He is technically the backup goalie. Reeves still fighting for it. And that'll draw a penalty, you bet. And that's the kind of aggression that you will find with the game winding down and the season winding down. Scott Reeves just about had his soul separated from his body. Burns unloads off the crossbar, and it goes all the way to midfield. Tanner Burns rocks the crossbar. Gannon Kessler comes round, scores! Gannon Kessler puts one on the board. And Declan Landers finally puts one up today. The Red Rams kept him quiet until now. McLaughlin's gonna kill some time himself, there's 10 seconds left. Playing 500, caught by CBA, three, one. The Jamesville DeWitt Red Rams are your 2021 Section 3 Class C champions. For the 14th time in 15 years, the Jamesville DeWitt dynasty continues. And the Jamesville DeWitt Red Rams have planted their flag on the mountaintop. My name is Sam Gelfan, the voice of the Red Rams, and on behalf of everyone here at James Oldewitt High School and Section 3 Athletics, have a very good night, wherever you may be.